Hello, I am Noel Del Pilar, photographer and live streamer from San Juan, Puerto Rico. In this video, I am going to show you how to use your Yolobox Pro with the Zoom application. In this video, I am going to show you how to use your Yolobox Pro with Zoom application. I mean, using the Yolobox Pro like a webcam. With the Yolobox Pro, you will have the benefit of having a switcher for multiple cameras, using graphics, play videos, using a PowerPoint presentation converted to PDF, and much more. In fact, what I am going to show you for Zoom works the same way for other similar applications such as Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, Skype, among others. I want to make it clear that I make this video because I love using this product and it has been very beneficial for my business. Yololif, the creators of Yolobox Pro, has not paid me to create this video. Let's begin. Step 1. Have your cameras connected to the Yolobox Pro as well as your graphics ready, the videos that you are going to use, the PDF, etc. Step 2. You can use the Yolobox Pro in monitor mode to use it only as a switcher, since you will not be using it to make the stream because the stream will be generated from the Zoom platform in your computer which is the one that will be connected to the internet. However, I recommend to use the Yolobox Pro as if you were going to make a stream, because that way you can reuse the products for your zooms, I mean, if you are going to do them frequently, with more or less the same graphics, picture-in-pictures, etc. Step 3. Go to this setting with this symbol like a gear or cog, and turn on or enable the USB-C out. By default, it will be off and this is to avoid using resources from the Yolobox Pro when it's not needed. Now your computer is going to recognize the Yolobox Pro as a webcam device. Step 4. Open the Zoom application in your computer. Then go to Preferences and from there go to the Video section. And as you see, by default is the laptop camera. But now I have the option to select the Yolobox. Make sure to check the box HD as well. Now let's go to the audio section. Select the microphone. By default, it will be as the laptop microphone, but now select Yolobox. That means that all the audio that comes out from the Yolobox Pro will enter to the Zoom. And this means that your microphones or your external audio mixer should be connected to the Yolobox Pro by mic in or line in depending on what you are going to use. Or if you are going to use your mics in your camera to avoid audio delays, don't forget to use your Yolobox audio mixer with or without AFD if you plan to play videos with audio, etc. Keep that in mind. Going back to Zoom, the Zoom audio output is selected here as a computer speaker. I generally leave it like that and turn down the volume or use headphones. And now we are ready. We are going to do a camera test, we are going to play a video, play a PDF presentation, etc. This is camera 1, this is camera 2, this is the PDF presentation, and this is a layout, so you can see the PDF presentation here, and the speaker here. And you can add anything else like a scroll if you like. So with this system you can have a great zoom meeting with all these Yellowbox Pro features. Okay? So that's the way to use the Yellowbox Pro as a webcam and make your own show, a virtual class or a complete seminar through the Zoom application. A very important tip that I want to share with you is that if by any chance you get the Yolobox Pro video in the Zoom, but not the audio, change the USB-C cable you are using. It happened to me that using the best USB-C cable I have, the Zoom did not detect the audio from the Yolobox Pro. But as soon as I changed the cable, everything worked perfectly. You can also use the Yolobox Pro HDMI output program out for a better video quality. When I say much better video quality, I mean that when using the USB-C output, you lose details in the highlights, you lose details in the shadows and also a more saturated color. 
But this is not a failure of the Yellowbox Pro, it is the normal nature of the USB-C output of any video device, such as the 18 Mini Pro, where the exact same happens. Let me show you this second option for better quality on zoom. To use the Yellowbox Pro HDMI output, you must enable the program out that is equivalent to the Yellowbox Pro HDMI out, but now you will need a video capture card like Elgato CamLink 4K. That way your computer recognizes that HDMI out signal of the Yellowbox Pro like a webcam through Elgato CamLink 4K. Please don't use cheap video capture cards, these do not have a good quality video. When using my Elgato CamLink 4K video card, the Zoom application will recognize the video and audio as CamLink 4K, because the Yolobox Pro HDMI signal reaches the Zoom through this video capture card. Let's compare the quality of the USB-C output versus the HDMI output. Here's my logo. As you see, my logo has some light gray details on the white background. What you are seeing now is the HDMI out using Elgato CamLink 4K video card. Now I am going to switch to the USB-C output and as you see now the details of the white background of my logo can no longer be appreciated. Let's compare now with my face. This is the HDMI out, nice details in my hair and natural color in my skin, but now I am changing to the USB-C out and you will see the difference, a more contrasty look, less details in the shadow areas and a more saturated color in my skin. For normal zoom meetings the USB-C output is ok and this is the normal use by default, but if you have a very important presentation and want the best quality and you are a perfectionist like me, I recommend using the HDMI output with a video capture card. But you can do so much more in the Yolobox Pro. For example, in addition to the Zoom meeting, you can do that meeting simultaneously by another platform like YouTube or Facebook. The only thing you have to do is start in stream mode on the Yolobox Pro, follow the steps to configure those platforms if you have them ready, or if you have to find their stream key, etc. And above all, don't forget to connect your Yolobox Pro to the internet. There you have it. If you want more information about the Yolobox Pro, you can follow the Yololive YouTube channel and subscribe. And there is an official Yololive user group on Facebook with many actual users that can help you on your technical questions. Also, if you have any specific situation with your Yolobox Pro or with any other Yololive products, feel free to contact Yololive support and for my own experience, they are ready to help you. I hope all this information has been for your benefit. My name is Noel del Pilar, photographer and live streamer from San Juan, Puerto Rico. See you next time.